Even Stina is peeping. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the first official appearance of uh, Mr. Peter Obi and his vice presidential candidate for the 2023 election. This is actually organized here in Abuja at the International Conference Center by the Labour Party Coalition for Peter Obi 2023. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm happy to announce to you that Peter Obi has come to end bad leadership in Nigeria. This man has come to end joblessness in Nigeria. Peter Obi has come to end unproductiveness in this country. Feel the love people have for this man. I tell you, this movement is ordained by God. This is the best time to be alive, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so happy right now. Seriously, this is the best time to be alive. This movement is beyond ethnicity. This movement is beyond religion. This movement is beyond uh, urgent 5K. This movement is beyond vote buying. We know they give shishi. Watch this video. Enjoy this video. And uh, please, I want you to carefully listen to Mr. Peter Obi. And uh, go and verify. <laughs> As we always say, go and verify, ladies and gentlemen. Enjoy this video. Why is it only twenty percent of the money? For just 5% of the amount I mentioned as loan, 5%, we've used 20 to create job. 5% of it would have been $25 billion. $25 billion would have increased our power generation Transmission, distribution from 4,000 to at least 20,000 megawatts. If we have 20,000 megawatts of electricity today, we'll move our manufacturing from under 7% to above 12%, creating at least 5 million new jobs. The list is endless. We are not campaigning yet. We will tell the story when we start campaigning. But I'm just telling you how bad it is that. When we say we are going to move Nigeria from production, consumption to production, they said, yes, Nigeria is not a producing country. Nigeria is one of the most talented energetic youths on the surface of the earth. <laughs> they said the figures I used are wrong. But let me tell you, so you go and verify. I said last year, earlier, late last, late last month, I made a statement, which you see them using every day, when I said, that Nigeria total export is less than $30 billion. You see where they are writing that is wrong. It is not wrong. Go to MBS, Nigerian Bureau of Statistics, released last year. Total export of Nigeria 
is 18 trillion, 18.9 trillion. As of the day that I made that statement, dollar was selling for about 650 naira. Go and divide 650 with 18.9, you give 29 point something billion dollars. Go and verify it. What we are saying I'm not saying I'm not saying I don't I don't I'm not wrong or right here Wherever I'm wrong, I've apologized. But I'm saying, in all my statements, in everything I've said, you know, score, that is the professor. If you score 90%, why are they looking for 10%? When I say we are not a conducive, when we say we are a consuming nation and we must change it, I'll take you back to what I said about the export. Yesterday, I had an interview. And somebody said to me, so what do you think about Boronu State? What do you think about Boronu State? There are things that are difficult in Boronu State. I said, let me tell you. Boronu State is a state situated on 70 point nine thousand square kilometers of land. Boronu State, I told him, Boronu State, today we're talking about Sambisa Forest. Sambisa Forest is an asset to Nigeria. Because Sambisa Forest is twice the size of Israel. It is an agricultural land that can give us food. I said that if you go all over the north, Nigeria is blessed. We have all the land we need. Look at Nigeria being affected by what we generate from oil. Our total export, our total export as a country, like I said in 2021, is 30 billion dollars, including oil. We live in a country of 923,000 square kilometers. One million, one million square kilometers. You compare it with Vietnam living on 331,000 square kilometers of land. And 100 million people, we are 200 million, their export is $312 billion. We couldn't do 10% of their export. And what did they export? They exported clothing. Their clothing export is $32 billion, more than we exported, including oil, clothing. 
They are sponsoring food footwear. So all I and that he wants to do is very simple. To say to people in Niger, I met the governor of Taraba on Sunday, and I repeated what I told him. I met the governor of I met the governor of uh, Niger on Saturday. And I said, Governor, you live on 76.3 thousand square kilometers of land. <laughs> governor, I said, Governor, 